This is our first Shabbos back together as a family. Zach is back, Nora's back, Louie's there. So let's get the house ready for Shabbos. Nora was away at sleepaway camp for seven weeks and Zach was away for five weeks on a teen travel tour. So first thing, we're in my bathroom. Uh, so this light in the toilet area, we keep that on for Shabbos. You see, we got a new little stool there. That's the poop stool. And if for whatever reason the light were to turn off on Shabbos, we did it by accident, you just leave it off. And then we have these two lights set up as well. These will stay on. Justin's closet light stays on and my closet light stays on and I'm gonna turn off the main lights. We sleep with the sound machine to the sounds of the ocean. So this always gets turned on before Shabbos. Since Nora's back, her bathroom light is staying on. Nora's room is actually down there, but she asked if she could take over this bathroom for herself. We were like, why not? Lots of camp laundry that we still need to fold. This is the guest room where we've just been keeping all this, but in here we leave the lights off and the bathroom light we leave on just to have an extra bathroom to use. If there were guests in here, the lights would stay off, but there's a Shabbos lamp over there and that would be turned on. In Zach's room, he keeps a fan on and he's got his Shabbos lamp on. He also likes to keep his closet door open and then this fan will stay on. And all his gaming stuff will stay off for Shabbos. We're in Nora's room now, so she's got her Shabbos lamp on over there. We're gonna turn off the main lights in her room and then her closet light will stay on as well. Got quite a collection over there, Nora. And now downstairs, we have the table set up for Shabbos with the lights on and then the lights in the living room are on. Hello, Louie, so cute. We have the lights in the kitchen on and then the warming drawer is on as well with the food warming up for Shabbos. Put Alexa on silent. And the hot water pot is plugged in so that we can have tea and coffee on Shabbos. And that's it. So we've got all four seats set tonight. And I'll finally be finishing this book. And I don't know if I should start this one next or this one or this one, but I don't know if I want to start reading the fourth wing until at least the second book is out. I almost forgot that Sabbath mode is set in the fridge and freezer. That way when we open up the fridge, the light doesn't turn on.